Hello everyone and before we talk about Vives Castle, please hit that subscribe button and help us grow the channel, it really does help out a ton. Now Vives Castle in the time was built on top of a hill as it would dominate uh, from both a military and strategic perspective uh, the route between Dinan and Rochefort. Nowadays however um, it is uh, obviously a museum um, and everything that uh, you would expect in a castle museum is there. Now getting in is pretty easy, the entrance is on the main courtyard uh, as, as well as the ticketing office, tickets are not that expensive. Um, and inside, obviously, you will find all of the traditional castle-related things, such as uh, historical artifacts, um, information on the history of the families uh, of the region, um, explanations on how the castle was structured, uh, and artifacts that were found, such as seals or weapons or so forth. Now, personally, this is not the big selling point of the castle itself. I think the main selling point uh, for this castle is that it offers a, a good family experience or, let's say, an experience for your children. Um, because at the entrance, uh, you can also get a sort of a treasure hunt for your kids to execute. So they can go all throughout the castle looking for clues, looking for information. And all of that they can do whilst being dressed as either a princess, a knight, or anything else that uh, they would want to be that is, let's say, medieval themed. And when we were there, lots of children enjoyed it uh, very much. And you can see that it's clearly something that they enjoy. So in summary, if you're in Dinan with your family, with your kids, uh, and you want to spend a couple of hours just having a bit of fun, uh, go to Vives Castle and do the treasure hunt. If not, uh, you can always spend a little small hour there, but don't expect too much, I would say. So thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.